Has anyone talked to Willie? Uh, I think Jax was talking to him earlier. Well, if you want to call it that. I don't. <laughs> well, then Jax was talking at him earlier. And that's more accurate, yes. <laughs> if we're talking about people that could possibly be either under the influence of or possibly is don't you think the soldier that was you know basically on yeah now that you put it that way let's be honest we could make a case as to why any one of us could be suspect true enough building paranoia really isn't going to help Mm, maybe you shouldn't have mentioned it to me then I figured you were already thinking it. Now I'm thinking it a lot more because you've kind of validated what I was already worrying about. Should we go looking for that crazy guy? I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, I didn't get out to the north. Yeah, he he went out, or he went towards the north end of north. Cat says. Well, he did go to clear out Boonesboro, and that certainly wasn't everything that we saw for the walls there. Maybe he went to get the rest. I guess we can go look. All right, but you're driving. Yeah. Yeah. I I swear if we come back and everyone is dead... uh, uh, Then I'm just going to keep driving. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, do Um, that. Cat, keep an eye on things. Cat looks at you and says... I was going to go with you. We could oh. use someone else to restrain yeah, fair enough. a naked crazy man. Do we yeah, have anything to like tie him up? Sure, you can You can take along zip ties, rope, scarves, yeah, let's, whatever let's you want. bring scars. random person tying oh objects. Okay. And I guess we'll be taking new car, same as the old one. Yep. Good. That's fine. Oh, it's not too much trouble. Uh, as it turns out, the naked man doesn't exactly blend well, especially when he's so mentally distracted by his obsession and everything. And such a perfect pasty white. I know, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe like, uh, 6, 6.30 by the time you, uh, get out there to, uh, Boonesboro. Trusty Tony's still just trying to fucking look around for, like, a suit that, like, will fit him. Or, uh, you know, his tires and finding absolutely fuck all. This is Pop Man's fault. Nothing of worth or merit. Uh, thankfully, no zombies. And uh, then the four of you roll up. He's pretty easy to spot. He's making a lot of noise. He kind of sticks out. He's not exactly taking pains to keep himself quiet. I imagine we'd... Uh, not drive right up to him, but drive up park nearby and uh yeah cat says so what do you think happened to the truck i don't even want to know he probably crashed it no actually i do want to know but i don't want to know right now um i'm more worried he might just crack he wasn't armed uh, Unless he's a lot better at hiding things than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you hide the radio? Cat says, poison capsule and his tooth that the military put there ever so long ago. Give her a strange look. Cat is, that, is that the operation? <laughs> Could have been. Starts I'm... feeling like lightly <laughs> feeling his molars. <laughs> Cat says, I thought it was just a tracking device, but you know. So many lies. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Kat's making a lot of sense. (laughs) That is what the government does. Well, let's go see if he's gone completely crazy or not. All right. Mm -hmm. What's your definition of completely crazy? Uh, We're about to find out. The four, yeah. the four of you easily get out of the blue sedan and make your approach towards Tony. Yeah. This place is bereft of suits and tires. Why tires? 
Mm, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked. Listen. Let me just say, Let's... don't go... Don't... Just... just don't go off-roading around here. There's stuff in the grass. Oh. Like all the ruins? Kathleen says, oh, that's Yeah, great. yeah, like Eugene drove that vehicle off the road whenever we went to look for that kid's mother ever so long ago. Yeah. He told me it was more like a gentle drift. <laughs> Isn't that still around here? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How much snow am I going to get tonight? Wow. So, uh... Okay, really, what do we want to do with Tony? Because he's kind of... Mm. Tony wants to wear a suit. Knock him down, tie him up, throw him in the trunk, take him back to Fort Drake. <laughs> That's basically what it's sounding like. Just leave him in the trunk. No, Yay! not leave him in the trunk. <laughs> He'll... Get into the engine block somehow. <laughs> you will become the engine. <laughs> I will become the car. Don't make me get that gift back. Uh, I don't want to know. Sorry, wanting to try to reason with him, or are we just looking to jump him? Um. I, I want to reason with him, but we he's tried not acting reasoning reasonable. With him exactly. I, I guess it didn't have to be that way. <laughs> we could have been friends. He is my friend. I, I just right? I don't want to hurt him. Like I get that, but right now you might want to be a little bit wary of him. I definitely am. I don't want him to hurt anyone else either. I don't Can want him to regret anything. Because I really have a sneaking suspicion he's building something bad. Can we see his hands? You can. It's not like he can hide his hands. I, I was just not. I mean, like, does he have something in either of them, or is like one behind his back? What? I don't know. Are <laughs> they? No. <laughs> you guys are giving me way too much credit here. Okay. Well, it's literally way too much credit. I'm gonna restrain him and put him in the car. Oh no. Cough. I think the four of you can manage to restrain Tony and put him in the car. Have oh. you seen us roll? Oh. There's no need for rolling. Let, let's be real here. This is a Yeti roll, so. Okay. Everybody else is just providing boost die. Yep. Uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> Please stop. Alright. You see. And Kathleen says, I hope we don't have any bumps on our way back. Maybe we should um, try to find the truck. Maybe we should right try over to find there, the behind the garage. We should really get him a suit. <laughs> Kathleen, like, <laughs> looks and says, oh, all four tires flat at the same time. I have... I expected nothing less. I have, a, I have a select group of skills. Wasn't driving one of them? Was. <laughs> <laughs> Driving Keyword. was one of them. Have you seen me drive? Before, yeah. yes. Right over... Recently, <laughs> out of the base. It's true. <laughs> okay, if, if you see any clothing stores on the way through, just... Let's stop and try and find him a fucking suit. Would it be possible for us to try to rummage up the things we now need? Tires and a suit. Uh, In the opposite order. <laughs> tires and a <laughs> suit and a tire. Suits and a tire. <laughs> the tires are pretty much a no-go in this situation, but you folks could spend an extra hour and find some dress clothes. Like maybe... Oh, fine. A, a suit jacket and some pants that are baggy, so you need to get a belt and strap it to Trusty Tony's increasingly shrinking waist. And, Listen, uh, as long as there is some sort of sports or waist coat yes. and a shirt with buttons, I would be okay with a loincloth at this point. You can, you can, you can find what Aaron described, like 
I'd settle for Professor's Tweed and a polo shirt. I told you you could find what you already described. Don't make this worse with Tweed. (laughs) (laughs) I'm allergic to Tweed. We get Tony the makings of a suit. Or something suit-ish. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's it's the foundation of a suit. Like, dress pants and a dressy shirt. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, a jacket, <laughs> yeah, a jacket with like an emblem on it or whatever they call those. It's like a frat emblem. <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, it's like a friars club jacket or something. A part of the Elks Lodge. Ah, <laughs> uh, so no tires. Um, anybody know where we might be able to look for tires? Because trusty uh, Tony can immediately pipe up and say, "My trailer." <laughs> My trailer. <laughs> right. There's tires in the trailer. I suppose we can take him back, get everything situated, and then bring some tires. Like, a couple of us could bring some tires let's, back. Let's go back, get Tony cleaned up and in a suit, and then I'm going to go back to work on the farm. Yeah, I think we should get the truck. Well... It only it only takes like one or two people to get the truck. Yeah, I'm Cassius just saying. I'm, two. Yeah, I need to be getting to work on the farm. <laughs> two people to get the truck. Cat to lift it up, and the other person to change the tire. Yeah. It'll, it'll it'll definitely <laughs> be Cat who goes with you, while Grace goes to watch over Eugene. That's a first. Yep. She'll be in the back seat of the car, of well, course. Well, Cat knows she can protect herself. Hmm. She hasn't seen and me. Plus, roll. she can. She can do a squat to lift a truck. <laughs> All right, so uh, we hit the go button. Mm-hmm. Plan in motion. Oh. Uh, that will end up taking care of the rest of the session. Then you folks can uh, escort uh, Trusty Tony back to uh, <laughs> back to the roof. <laughs> to be chained up again. You can retrieve the tires that you know will fit the Remy Wonder truck. <laughs> 2.0. 2. The Remy Wonder Party truck. <laughs> I know. You can put those uh, on the uh, the truck and then uh, you can drive that back as well. Description updated. Is it a negative 2 due to damage steering or negative yes, 1? It's now a negative 2. Thanks, Tony. Tony. The steering. I can fix it. I asked you to fix it. <laughs> I don't remember this. He did. <laughs> when? Last, Last session. session. Really? Yes. yes. I, when we brought the truck, when we first brought it back, I said that it handled a little funny and asked if you could take a look at it. You're like, yeah, sure, well, whatever. Well, shit happened. And okay? then you kind of went insane. <laughs> Listen. Uh, I was busy trying to uh, trying to come up with an Edge of the Empire session. That didn't happen, and then I went insane. <laughs> Things Clearly happened. coming up with the, the campaign is what drove Tony insane. Mm. <laughs> the, uh, the session, next session, will pretty much begin basically at the morning of the next day. We'll find out what happened to Trusty Tony overnight. If, if it will, uh accommodate, I will start trying to get a sense of whether the horse is, like, rideable or not and, uh, give it some exercise other than just standing yeah. around all day. It looks uh, old enough that it could be rideable, just, uh, it's, uh, just malnourished right now. Yeah, even, even if it's not rideable, just walk it around. And... Alright, so, uh, the next idea, then, before we end the session is how you're going to be securing Trusty Tony this time. I don't even know. Cement blocks, <laughs> concrete galoshes. Yes. I really don't know because it, it, um, it, it looks like Trusty Tony slipped out of the fucking chains that were holding him. Yeah, there. that's that's what I'm saying. Chains like can't be cinched down very tight, and there's a lot of roll in the links. But like zip ties, you can tie them down much closer to the skin without it being you know damaging. I want to bend a length of iron around his neck and hook it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not cat, <laughs> right? We have very similar strength, actually. Hmm. 
Manhand Grace. <laughs> Manhand Grace. Double hand skewed bicep. You get you folks can uh, come up with some ideas about how you want to uh, effectively restrain Tony before next session. Yeah, I've got no clue. Uh, can I spend a, can I spend experience points in escapism? <laughs> yes. Dude, All right. Done. Getting the practice. Done. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's that's three experience points for everyone for a completed session. Uh, Jordan, I really enjoyed uh, you uh, taking the ball and rolling and uh, going with the role play at the situation. I it's it's such a different direction from Batman, which much, is what I really like, appreciate. Depressed and uncaring from it, though. It's because he found it. I got session. I got manic and detached. Like I he was only manic. half there. <laughs> Which is true because the other half is being played like a fucking violin. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, I was basically thinking, hey, trusty Tony's gonna do it. Trusty Tony's not gonna be like Pop Man. Yeah. He's not no, gonna he's sit too, around and do nothing. Yeah, in a completely different way. To explain the mechanic a bit more, I made some tests for everyone at the start of the session, except for Fletch. Uh, Grace managed to shake it off after one, and uh, Eugene managed to get rid of it entirely, but Trusty Tony just rolled a series of ones. And it became permanent. Yes? For um, now. If it hadn't been for the fact that uh, Potman got back what all of his essence and increased a few stats, he might still be suffering from it. The extra willpower helped. Yeah. Yeah, that that one willpower, man. <laughs> that literally double willpower. <laughs> literally, yes. You literally doubled your willpower. <laughs> you increased it by one hundred percent. And now, and now you have a crazy Batman guy. <laughs> no, <Except> for basic, <laughs> I for basic refused please. to give you that. <laughs> nope, can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. This is a train that has no brakes. No. Anthony Freight Train Ramirez. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to put pennies all over those rails. Okay. I will also admit I had not determined what Tony, like, how this would affect him until I actually made those rolls right before the start of the session. And which mm-hmm. is like, oh. Because I figured with the plus four that he had from Nerves of Steel, like, there's no way. One, yeah. one, one, one. Oh. <laughs> Nerf oh. steel plus uh, <laughs> nerf steel is a plus. That's plus four. There's yep. a plus one for fast reaction, and then plus two willpower. So, so if I roll much, much, you were guaranteed. See, to the sad part is that I, I didn't even factor in the plus one for fast reaction time, and with the ones, it's still an eight. <laughs> yeah, so it's still a fail. It's still a failing. <laughs> that's why I'm like, if you're rolling ones, it doesn't matter what I get. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as the ones cascade, that's pretty yeah. much it for any roll. Welcome to welcome to Trusty Tony, who's who's manic and productive when he's insane. I, I suppose if you had like a f- four or five in a characteristic, and then like a plus five skill, then you could survive one cascading one. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you've been able to do that before. The way I'm Early. picturing uh, Trusty Tony's manic state involves like. When you make eye contact with him, his eyes aren't focused on yours. There are beyond. Like, just sort of empty and distant. And naked. Like, constantly on the verge of collapse. No. But I, uh, I it's figured, almost like he's sleeping. I figured most likely was that Potman was just going to persist with those, but uh, then maybe Grace, but uh, Trusty Tony doing it, I... I, Didn't see that coming. I, I did not foresee it, but uh, I was able to go with it. It was definitely in the realm of possibilities. And Jordan I'm... was able to go with it as well. You mean I have carte blanche to do whatever the fuck I want in character? Carte blanche. That's a blank check. <laughs> so what did I miss? I'm, I'm sorry, I had to... Me, oh, p- me pissing off Aaron by mispronouncing words? <laughs> you don't know this Aaron? We're just kind of yeah, bullshit at this point. It's the, it's the end of the session. Everyone gets three experience. I've already right. spent it. I've got escape. I was, I was so totally not. not go ahead. Go ahead. I'm done. Oh, I was because I was totally not kidding about uh, pushing experience into agriculture for animal use only. 
I totally wasn't kidding by saying okay. Sweet. I was not kidding about fashioning a metal circle to put around his neck. Speaking of which, um, for Potman, I'm going to be taking green thumb and increasing agriculture to two. Okay. Alrighty then. I'm gonna bump up notice to five if that's justified. I don't know, you didn't really notice anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I, 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 think, I think I think I think you get experience points back because your nose goes down. <laughs> That's you not gain, how fucking. You works. gain the impaired the impaired sight drawback. Yeah. I even have acute sight. Yeah, so they just you know. <laughs> you have acute poor sight. <laughs> I suppose you can gain notice five. I have a feeling we could ask Grimith for about anything right now, and he wouldn't care. Alright, I'm going to pick up with my four experience points. I would like to pick up resources four. <laughs> resources four. Wow, you really got a lot of fucking metal. <laughs> yep. I am the scrap king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm building a scrap empire in the wasteland. Scrap king. Anthony Scrap King. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. Well, I have some news for you. Uh, it's two points per level for resources. It is. Damn this, it! This is something we ran into back at character creation. Damn it. Okay, uh... I've got it uh, wrong twice now. <laughs> I've got no ideas. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly don't know what I'm going to spend the next day. Alright, and with. let's see. Did we ever increase our life points again? I you think mean? we got... Uh, what's what's my health up? Mine is yeah. We we got. You've gone through like the next session will start on the twenty fifth, so you will have gone through a total of six days. Yeah, we gained twelve life during this session. Yeah, I'm at thirteen. Then I think that I'm at a correct life total. Okay. If not, we can fix that. If not, I'm never going to fix it because I don't remember what I started the session at. <laughs> Aaron's so. just like, fuck it. Five yeah, I'm, so I'm actually possible. doing. He, he's actually doing great right now. No, oh, that's what happens whenever we pass through more days than what we have for the past four sessions. <laughs> this uh, is true. This is what happens when you don't get grenaded. I think we went through more days in this session than we have in the past three sessions combined. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't you bet? So yeah, anyway. More than oh bad. yeah. <laughs> uh, Grimith. What's up? Whenever Pama needs to make his first agriculture roll, now he gets to roll twice and take the better result. Okay. Yeah. It's basically jury rigging, except with plants. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, you've been going through one day at a time per session since chapter 21, which was the same it session does. that uh, that Ray died. Is that six sessions? Uh, former former divorce. Former well, that, was, that was the other thing I was going to say mentioned earlier when we were talking about things that didn't normally phase Tony, like even when his ex-wife died. Ex -wife died. <laughs> yeah, his future ex-wife. Yeah, <laughs> his practice wife. <laughs> oh, no, no, she was she was the one. <laughs> she was the one. We were going to have an on-again, off-again fling for years. Yeah, a hate so man. So it's going to be friends. No, yeah, I guess so. A, a hate man. It was, it was going to be, it was gonna be we we're going to love to hate each other. Right. You know, like what Riggs and Pink have. Yeah. So, Except so, with less punching. So how's everyone doing with all flesh must be eaten? And why isn't this campaign over yet? I tried I really tried. hard. <laughs> well, We're because the wrong person went mad. I tentatively <laughs> have the food situation handled so we can check one of the three things off the checklist. And Potman is technically, you know, cured, it looks like. Tentatively. Hey. Like, I took his head first into a boss encounter when we were horribly under-equipped, and, and we, we still limped out of it. Sorry, Potman's too good. We had two stealthy was, killers that could have gone... It was that willpower failure is what did it. Too good. Fainting on, like, round two? Yeah. <laughs> no, round three. Ah, he fired yeah. off two shots and then a three-shot burst. Might have been round four. What matters is what happened. What happened was your victory. Dash. 
at what cost. <laughs> that didn't I know. feel like a victory. And th- this is a great, like, inverse of, like, what happens. Like, the, the, the DM gives them player agency, the players want to die, and the players succeed. Well, we just don't want to die in a stupid way. Oh. Like, have, taking, yeah, taking a truck that. for a spin, blowing out all the tires, and suddenly catching fire. Hey, it didn't work. <laughs> I tried. You didn't even go through a pane of glass. Come on, that's not trying. Hey, there's no panes of glass that are worth going through. There was one directly in front of you. <laughs> now, that thing no, was no. spider web and not let me go through it. Now, if you said you were driving south towards Brunswick and you had failed those driving checks, I would have put you off that fucking bridge. Right, so I think that the main situation still needing resolving is the uh, desiccation one. Well, now, the, now, the, now there's a new one, the trusty Tony situation. I think yeah. that's still just the desiccation that's, that's, situation. Desiccation's not going to get resolved unless we hit fast forward a lot for him to reconstitute and show up again. Yeah, maybe. And then and the only way then. we can ensure that we take care of it is to literally like douse him in gasoline and catch him on fire. Which I'm on board with. I recommended doing that a long time ago, and look... Look what yeah, happened. that was that was recommended before the second yeah, fight. No one disagreed with you. So, someone yeah. made the joke. I it might even been me. How can he stop drop and roll when he floats? Oh no! Yeah, I don't remember who made that, but it, it was it fun. It just so it happened me. that it just so happened last session or whatever that he came out of nowhere, and it was one of those situations where it was like this is an opportunity to try to take him out. We almost had him, or die trying. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that actually was a situation. Yes, this has got to be the weirdest fucking campaign I've run in this in-game situation. Where it's we like, can make it weirder. I know the players are like, we could stand in the story, and yet the story doesn't come to a conclusion. Yeah, well, and it's because certain people I, don't just want to walk away. Yeah, I need the conclusion. Uh, well, we owe people the conclusion. I have my we horse. Don't owe I am done. We don't uh, owe anyone shit. They, you owe me the conclusion. Mm, I don't the, know about that. The game ends when everyone's done with it, and if uh, everyone but Aaron's done with it, then we can just like go through like his. Yeah, I just I just want to resolve the hanging plot threads, and then I'll be fine too. But here's the issue, Aaron. The hanging plot threads. More hanging plot threads will appear. No, they won't. <laughs> Because the trusty Tony plot thread is the same as the desiccation plot thread. You say I, I that. I to join you on that so, horse. Get back. And, 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 you, and you would also know that the game master would like to see some story resolution as well. Exactly. So it's not like I'm going to be like, and then suddenly. Yeah, no. this isn't fucking Naruto. <laughs> that does bring up a good point, though. I'll be back. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Fucking Jordan has been on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Entirely serious about Grace moving to uh, the same floor as Fletch, though. Oh, I see how it is. Enchanté to the same room. First, first you tie up <laughs> Tony and get him naked in his bed, and then you move in with Billy with Fletch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You got yourself you. naked. <laughs> you got naked was a huge hey, surprise to everyone. We don't even know where your clothes are. I'm going right. to say, say one thing right now. We don't know how Tracy Tony lost his clothes. That's, That's a factually correct statement. You don't know where your clothes are. But you have new clothes now, so that's good. Yes. All right. Uh, Point, I'm is gonna, it enough? It's getting late here, so I'm going to hang up the call. Okay, Aaron. Okay. Er- Yes. All right. So the fifth floor is a duo again. <laughs> it's the bed, man. <laughs> and Grace's low standards. It is the softest, lonely mattress. <laughs> I, I, I like the trail that leads off from the floor. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Never again. Yes. Uh, you do realize. Sorry, go ahead. You do realize though that uh, <laughs> if Grace ends up sleeping with Fletch, we're just gonna wake up with a horse head in the bed at some point. <laughs> Guys, just kick it, it, just kick I, it off and roll that roll over back to sleep. <laughs> Guys, I made improvements to your horse. You jury rig the horse. 
All right. I'm only half joking when I say I want Tony to become the first Zamitsi. Okay. Only half joking. He's only. got the intent, but none of the skill. Yeah. <laughs> if one of Aaron's characters can become a Zamitsi, then so can one of Jordan's characters. Yep. Fair is fair. Uh, at this point. Wasn't the character technically retired when it became embraced? Yes. Yes. So was he still in control when it became embraced? No. So none of his characters became a Zamisi. Uh, I mean, he controlled the process through which it became a Zamisi. Yeah, he sacrificed like five vampires. He sacrificed a lot of poor people. Sad fates. And then he survived all the brutal tests that Sevalod gave him. I mean, poor people are only worth like a quarter of a normal person, right? Mm. It's not even two fifths. According to the venture taste. I'll load three. Mm. Alright, but yes, that's the session. I'm uh, glad, even in my fucked up state, that we could conduct something. You, you call this quite something. Well. Huh? I, I didn't even really notice that you were inebriated or whatever. Inebriated. I'm not sure. inebriated. <laughs> so much cops to have. I'm good, so the mediocre quality hasn't changed. Fantastic consistency. No, I got a horse. <laughs> For Ryan, this session has been nothing but positive. You got rid of Sam. Get a new chick in the bed, maybe. I, I told horse. you I'm looking out for my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trusty Tony's like, going crazy, but that's tertiary. I knew, I knew the campaign was coming to an official resolution when I finally got a horse. <laughs> that was going to be the end. Like, it was obvious. Yep. As if it wasn't obvious by all the other things that we're bringing this to a close eventually, maybe. <laughs> well, no, no, the really horse hard. signifies like we got like, like one, two sessions left. <laughs> Four months later, why are we still playing this? Because <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> I can't believe the horse is the doomsday clock. <laughs> two minutes to midnight. Literally, I think we could be done with this game if it only been for Aaron. Well. But he's still he's still interested in this game, and I'm still interested in he watching. He wants to see an end, and I'm amused with everything going to shit. So, I guess I didn't expect to actually survive last week, even especially uh, when you pulled out a fucking rifle. Yeah, Did that, you think that, that 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 was intended to be the effect. By the way, guys, Dominic Bertuccio, four skill points, and in, in, if, in if I rifle. did not dodge that second rifle shot, I probably would have died. Uh, I I taunted the boss, and I fully expected him just to wail on me. And he, he did. did. <laughs> yeah, he didn't wail and on I me. I burned your suit and jacket. Yeah. That may have, you know... That was the last straw. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, as it were. As noted, last session was set up to be incredibly dangerous. That started with Eugene. If he got left alone like that, where it was only Zane watching over him... <laughs> Well, we've yep. kind of proven that in, in terms of security and defense, we're all absolutely useless. Yes. Yep. Not to mention that this Ford Drake is really not the best starting point for security. No, not with a not with a group this small. Not we need a large small. enough group to be doing like constant perimeter patrols and stuff. And not yep. with a perimeter so vast with so many like access points. Mm -hmm. Right. We would we would need to make sure all the fences are securely in place put like solid gates and barriers and stuff up and then actually have people like patrolling on ATVs constantly which is just too resource intensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're in the best worst spot we could pick. Look on the bright side, you have all the you have all the scraps you'll ever want. Look on the bright side, I got a mattress and a horse. And, and a, a horse. He does have a mattress. I do have a mattress. And that hidden and quit it problem. Got solved last session. I know, right? <laughs> like I said, looking out for my. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna keep that one to myself. Come on, she was like thirty something. Why would I stick with that? Yeah, I'm um, just gonna keep it to myself. Bottle it in, and and Jordan is able to explore like character arcs he never thought he'd explore. <laughs> <laughs> character arcs, him going crazy. Yes, character development. I figured ironclad trusty Tony with his mental mind could, uh, his mental mind, yeah, 
as opposed to his physical mind? Yeah. <laughs> or his spiritual mind. Tony's not a very spiritual person. I can only imagine what would have happened if we had had uh, a Fletcher Ooh. Grace crack. Oh. Uh, I, I imagine the shining. Mm-hmm. Gears, I imagine Jeremy. people being Gears, dead. Gears, Jeremy. I wouldn't well, find here. Multiple multiple people a losing essence was certainly a possibility, but that's not what the dice chose. I've I've never been subjected to it anyways because he whiffs on every melee attack against me. <laughs> that might affect it. Well, the on, only people that had to roll were people physically touched and affected by his essence drain. At this rate, Trusty Tony will have thirty negative thirty essence in five days. If he keep, if I keep fucking rolling that high on the, on the dice for his essence drain, yes. Yeah, he's he's got like a few days left at this rate. And then he just basically dies from lack of soul. He's just gonna wake up dead. Oh, Un- unchained. Oh, I've I've heard I've heard that before. Wake up dead. Yeah, cigarette yeah. at the corner of his mouth. I've Something you can before. only do in a zombie game or vampire. That's right. Well, we Thank have. You. Actually, it's more likely to happen in a vampire game since I don't think you're mentally there as a zombie. Unless you're special. That's right. (laughs) Unless you're special. No, a special. Like, a a special infected. So are you saying... Smoker, hunter, tank, you know, boomer. Uh, Jaunty. Jaunty. (laughs) Nimble, whatever. Oh, my jaunty zombie. Yeah. So I need to, to basically, anyway, for that to the Empire, I need to move over to the uh, framework that Ryan found, because I was using one that didn't have starships in it, apparently. Oh. I'm guessing you had the 1.6 and not the 1.6S. Yes. The yeah. system works really well, though. You just need to set the stack to, like, fucking high. Yeah, I ran into that problem when with some of my scripts for this. I have to use a much larger stack than the rest of you. Yeah, you need to generally you need like at least a stack of three or four to actually. I think my stack is five. Yeah, for yeah. my attack macros, I had to go up to five. Yeah, yeah so yeah. yeah, that's my default. So whenever I tried running the framework first time, it's a starship one had no problems. I was like, that's when I fuck with the token and everything. Like, yeah, everything's good. Test it yeah, out. yeah. Mine, mine like... works in one point eight seven as well. Oh, it I'd, claims uh... it might have errors, but I haven't encountered any. I have. Yeah. A, I, I update. I have, a, I have a version that's one point. I have a one point nine version of Map Tools. Was it? Okay. That's that's that's, yeah. that, that's what I tried it on. That's what it was recommended. The latest version of Map Tools. Yeah. So yeah, and it's really really nice. The framework. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, I'm like, how do I roll the dice again? Oh, oh I, I just do. click on the skill. I, I know! This. How fucking convenient is that compared and to... And you, you program in your weapons and stuff, and it creates new clickables for them. Yeah. It's really, actually really good. Alright, so I guess for the third week in a row, I'm saying, next week, I <laughs> the Empire. So we I, already, the I already rode off, uh, possibly with <laughs> Grace. I think he said he was trying to put her on the horse. <laughs> I'm trying to get on the horse, but I just couldn't catch up. <laughs> I'd slow down. Okay, We're getting out of this fucking rat hole. Because it's about to be run over or overrun by rats. And then once it's over, then we then. That's right. We can't end this game without one final zombie siege, everyone. No thanks. Yeah, yeah. we can. That's if, if, way if, too long. One if final can, session of tedium. <laughs> uh, we can just be in a helicopter crash into a giant horde of thousands and just that fight would be for a, as many fight for as many rounds as we can until we all go down. That would be pretty badass, but I'm pretty sure it would not be the end of all the threads that Aaron wants. If he dies in the helicopter crash, it will be. All right. No, because then what happens with desiccation? Well, does, does Aaron's character truly die? He was in the cockpit and caused the crash. <laughs> My God, he was ace all along. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> In I all those, be surprised in all those anyone were. solo helicopter flight scouting he went on. God damn. Why do you think he's always wearing those aviators? Because he thinks he looks cool? <laughs> now you know that desiccation can put on other people's skin. The whole world is over with possibilities. Mm. Sure. <laughs> oh well. I refuse to acknowledge them. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be in the same manic mood as I next week, anyways. I was uh, waiting for the crash, and it just never came. I don't know. Like, 
it, he seems so unstable that he's completely unpredictably dangerous. I did not see Jordan taking it there where, where it went, but I am so I am it's, amused. It's kind of like I don't think we see any choice but to literally restrain you at all times right now. Okay. Like, and you see, you see, you see how that's worked out. Yep. I mean, Eugene got restrained, so I mean, it's nothing different. I mean, Eugene got restrained, and he stayed up there, didn't kill anyone. I, I would. He seriously wasn't insane, out, though. Like an iron bar bent around his neck. Are, are you saying that Eugene wasn't? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. He wait. broke. <laughs> he broke, but he didn't go batshit crazy like this. Like he took the depression route. Yeah, depression's not Tony's thing, though. He was right. he was just completely submissive and wanting help. Tony wants none of it. Oh my god! If Tony went submissive, I, I I'd fucking quit for you. I'm just like fuck this. There you go, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you you are our only hope. <laughs> Not into BDSM. Sorry. No. That I'm, just, I'm gonna session. cut off your arms and legs and make Ooh. you a torso. Yes. And leave you on the roof. <laughs> 